What's, What's up, up Turner Family Gang? Bing. It's your girl Tasha and it's your boy Brandon. And here today we're coming with another video, a question and answer video for y'all. So we can <clears throat> answer some of the questions that we've been getting asked. So we won't have to keep answering everybody, you know, individually. We can just go ahead and answer everybody at one time. So, you know, let's go ahead and get into this video because we don't like to waste y'all time. And we don't like our time to be wasted, so we're not going to waste y'all. So we're going to go ahead and get into this video with the first question is... What you trying to say? Go ahead and say what you finna say. Hey, y'all, before we even get into this, man, make sure y'all go like, comment, subscribe to this channel, man. Yeah, click, click that, that bell, bell, click man. that bell, click that bell, or y'all can copy our, <laughs> copy our um, link, and please go and spread it, spread it, spread it out to everybody so everybody can see, everybody can know about us, you feel me, you and feel me? even mm -hmm. before you even Period. watch this video, Period. go Period. comment, Period. hashtag BBT gang, hashtag Team Tasha, hashtag Team Brandon. Whoever y'all around with, y'all already know, man. But for further ado, let's go and get straight to this video, man. Yep. Okay. First question is, where did we meet? We met in high school, man. We was going to Joy Washington Carver High School. I was a junior. She was a freshman. Uh, we see each other around all the time, smiling at each other. Okay, y'all. So I'm just I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video for y'all. Until he decides he want to come back in because he keep on having all kind of interruptions. And I know we're trying to go ahead and get this done for y'all. So we're going to go ahead and put this video out for y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and do this video for y'all while he y'all doing whatever he finna do. So let's go. So we already answered where do we meet. Okay, how long were we together? How long were we liking each other before we actually got together? I don't know how long he was liking me. He was liking me for a long time, y'all. He was in my inbox, you know. He was more in my inbox up. But I just didn't want to talk to him because the kind of life I had, you know, I didn't have that other mother thing, you know, like how mothers and stuff be with the boyfriend and making the shirts and taking you to the game so you can support your boyfriend. I didn't have it. So I was like, no, I don't, I was like, I don't want to talk to you because I don't want to waste your time because I know I'm not going to be able, I'm not going to have the money and stuff to come to your games. I'm not going to be able to get the shirts made and stuff like all the other girls. So I was like, I don't want to talk to him because that's probably, I know that's what a lot of athletes expect out of their girlfriend. You know, that's, they expect the support. And I didn't, I knew I wasn't going to be able to get it to him. So I was like, no, I'm not even going to waste your time like that. You sure did move that car mighty quick. Cause I'm a goat. I'm like, I ain't gonna waste your time like that. So I'm just not gonna worry about it. He he does, He's um making his way back here now, y'all. What's up, y'all? But it's yeah, your boy Brand. They know who you is. You just said that in the beginning of I the mean, video. Why you gotta hate, bro? But yeah, I was like, I ain't gonna waste his time like that because I know I wasn't gonna be able to support him. So. Yeah, he was like me for a long time. I was like him too, but I just didn't want to talk to him because I didn't want to, you know, they be like, they ain't hit home or something. I be like, they ain't burning. Where you good? Like, she don't never come to none of your games and stuff. They probably, he probably won't be feeling bad and we're like, you know. Anyway, yeah, we on this second question. How long were we to, well, I already answered it. How long were we together before we had our son? We was together a year and a few months. Yep. Before we had our son. Yes. His name is Brayden. Everybody should know my son's name. That, you know. Well, I ain't going to say really in Montgomery. Because I went viral off a post I made for graduation uh, last year around May. I think it was May yep, May 19th last year. Yep. So, everybody should know my son's name. Because we went global. I don't think we made the shade room. It was some other kind of thing page, on Instagram. Yeah. It was some other kind of page on Instagram. Yeah, but we made it. We went global around the whole world. People in Africa, Afghanistan, everywhere. Like, they saw my post. They started following us and everything. Cash app and stuff. Everything. Yeah, offering to buy things, you know. But I wasn't really trying to take it because I'm like, I didn't make this post for to be accepting gifts or nothing like that i just wanted to everybody to see what i had to go through to graduate but yeah next question 
I'm gonna go there. I know it. How you just come out of nowhere and say that? Anyway, my son, how old is he? My son is 10 months, the big one old. My boo gonna be one years old November 15th. Y'all say the date because his birthday finna be lit. But we lit I'm, all November. Our birthdays, yeah. The same my month. birthday, November. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and ask you a question. My birthday is November the 3rd, mine, November 2nd. And, and my son's is birthday is November 15. 15th, and all our birthday is around Christmas. So, you know who finna be broke, broke. So, but yeah, I do anything for my son, so I don't really care. Yeah. So, my son has, how my son, how has he made a big impact on our life? My son has made a big impact on my life because before I even got pregnant, I ain't care about nothing. I used to stay arguing with people, stay getting into it with people over petty stuff, and it's like now, when I got pregnant, I realized, like, dang, all that stuff wasn't even, it wasn't even really worth entertaining because it wasn't that deep. And I was going through a lot of stuff with my family and stuff, so he really came and just, it's like God just sent this peace in my life when I had yeah. him. So, yeah, he impacted my life so much in a good way. Like, yeah. yeah. And on me... It's just like it's it's like a dream come true. Like the whole time we was together for those years and a few months, you know, we was talking about it. Talking about how we wanted a boy and everything and last year just a it was just like a tragedy thing that just kinda took kinda my soul. But I lost my father last year. Uh I lost a friend last year. Like it's just been so much. And soon as my father had passed, that's when Braden had came along. So, you know, when he came, it just lifted me back up, man. Like, yeah, I and came. he also taught us a lot of responsibility because I know before I, well, no, before I had him, I knew some little stuff about responsibility, but he has taught me a whole lot about responsibility, like. It's just it's this little person that depends on you to do everything for him because he, without us, without anybody caring about him, you know, he can't, you know, he can't survive because yeah. he's not old enough to do for himself. So he taught me a lot of responsibility. And that's really I why. actually thought being a father was going to be hard, man, but it's not hard. Yeah, I didn't really think being a mother was going to be hard because I had two younger nephews. I have no that I have been siblings. around since they was babies, and I saw. Well, both of my sisters are single parents, so that's just something that I didn't have to go through because me and him, you know, we're still together. So I applaud my sisters for teaching her. Basically. I applaud my sisters for no, they didn't teach me because I mean it's just. Women are just self-taught more than men because, like, it's just we got the instinct anyway. I just feel that way. I just feel that way because when, you can't lie because when I had Brady, you didn't even know how to change no diaper. How you got the instinct, though? I'm saying, why are you telling me? You ain't dude? got the instinct, though, because you ain't even know how to change no diaper when I first had him. Anyway. Bro, you made me change the diaper on the teddy bear. And you couldn't do that. That's sad. Ooh. Anyway. But yeah, my both of my sisters are single parents. I watched one of my sisters raise her son from a baby, and he's the five or six now. I can't remember. He's five or six now, and she did good doing it. So you know, I was prepared when I had my son. You know, I was I was ready. But it's like you ain't prepared for them waking up through the night because it's always okay. Well, I'm gonna have to get him for a little bit, and then when he start crying. Here, get your baby back. Well, you know, I couldn't do that. So, you know, that was what was mm, I had to I had to get some, some strong and do it, yeah. you know. But I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Yep. So, next question is, do we plan Hold on. Do we regret meeting each other? Nah. No, I don't regret meeting him because he he made a big impact on my life too. It's like I never been nowhere outside of Montgomery other than Lyons County. That's it. Me, I was I was raised in Lyons County. The like, reason why me experiencing the world, it comes from it's come from AAU basketball. When I used to play when I was younger, we went to places like Florida, Tennessee, Nebraska, uh 
Mississippi. We went, I went everywhere, so I experienced a lot of stuff at a young yeah, see, age. I wasn't playing no sports, so I didn't go nowhere. I haven't been nowhere. I have not even been. Well, yes, I did. I went to Birmingham yesterday. That was my first time going to Birmingham. I have never, ever been to Birmingham. When the teacher used to be like, write this and this about where you went for the summer, I used to lie. Because I, 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 I never went nowhere outside of Montgomery or um, Lyons County. That's it. I used to lie. Like, I went to Florida. Yeah, ooh, I went to Panama City Beach. Don't know where that is at all. But, yeah, I regret meeting him because we've been showing each other new stuff. Like, yeah, I don't regret meeting him. Next question is, do we plan on having some more kids? Yes. yes. <coughs> I'm going to have 16 if the Lord let me. If that's what the Lord wants. Hey. I'm going to have 16 if the Lord let want me to have 16. Well, no, for real, my limit is probably like, i say three. Three or four. Uh, that's probably my limit. But I say, I want a girl next. Yeah. She talking about 16 kids. Man, she gonna man, our head probably explodes on. <laughs> we'll be straight on them food stamp though. Mm, ooh, you that's all that's saying. You sound like these females out here ready for tech time. <laughs> anyway. How long do we plan on waiting before we have some more kids? I don't know. I don't know. Y'all honestly, when you have sex, you gotta be prepared for anything because you know you know what everybody know what come behind having sex yeah. unless you just been told that you can't have kids and even then it ain't a hundred percent sure because the doctors don't plan your life it's only one person that plan your life and know if you're gonna be able to have kids or not so whatever the doctor say that's not even a hundred percent you can't go off that like what a doctor say majority of the time because sometimes they don't know what they be talking about um what's the pregnancy plan Okay, I can say we plan on having a son, but we didn't plan on having him as early as we as I had him. Yeah. I can say that. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, we never sat down and talked about having a child yet, because we did multiple times. We just didn't actually sit down and say, okay, well, I want you to get pregnant next year, and then that's what we're going to do. We yeah, didn't sit down didn't and do, do that. that. But it was, you know, we, he was talked about. So yeah, next question is do do I regret having a baby? Well, do well, this for both of us. Do we regret having a baby before our life actually got started? Okay, I'm gonna say this, and I don't want nobody to think I'm sounding mean or whatever you want to call it. But I'm not gonna say I regret having my son because, like I said, he's had brought so much peace to my life, but. What I do, well, I don't regret. What I wish I could change is when I had him, you know, I wanted, you know, I really wish I could have got in school first. So at least when I had him, you know, I would have been had a career and stuff by now. But, you know, a baby don't stop nothing. It's just what you make out of having a baby. Yeah. Because I hate when people sit around and talk about females that's young got babies still in school and they really be talking about us y'all like we can't do it but yeah. if you see somebody that's not doing nothing while they pregnant because they had a baby making all these excuses that's just the type of person they is because mm -hmm. that mom instinct gonna kick in and you gonna do what you gotta do for your son it's, for your child where whatever. we from basically it's these type of females that uh go around want to get pregnant and don't even give a fuck about the baby. Excuse my language, but don't even okay, give a fuck about Okay, we ain't asked all that now. We just asked the um, I'm just one saying. question. No, you can't be on here talking about people now. Nah. Do you regret having a baby before your life got started is the question. I mean, he's here like that's that's just that's it like i'm happy he's here like before he was thought of like the basketball dream it kind of was like almost coming back but then it just started fading away so you know like i ain't want to waste like all my life trying to figure out like when i'm gonna get recruited and then i'm missing you know everything that's going on in this world because of that so you know 
Um, I'm glad he's here, man. I'm just happy to be a daddy, man. So, you know, okay. if you're a father out there, man, make sure y'all take care of y'all kids, man. They the ones that's gonna need you forever, for real. Okay, who are we? Who is our favorite YouTube couple? Nick and King. Yeah, period. most definitely Nick and King. That's it. Shout, no, out, shout out to Nick and King, man. I kind of like, I, I've i been knowing about the era and King since I was like in the sixth grade, but I haven't really watched them. But I have, I love Nick and King. I love their personality. I love, I love how they carry themselves. Yeah. I love how Neat carries herself as a female, as a young entrepreneur. She doing her thing, period, Pooh. I love her. And, you know, I fuck with King, too. I love his music. Yeah, hey, really shout gotta, out to King, man. Y'all really got to listen to his music, y'all. That relax a little, like, that, that actually is the hit right now. Also, that song him and Nair got called Heard A Lot. Like, he, he ripped that, too. Shout out to both of them, man. Yeah. I love Nick and King. I love them. My favorite YouTube couples. I don't really. I don't. I can't say I don't really like nobody else because I don't really. I haven't really watched nobody else. But I really ain't even started. You know, looking into YouTube covers until. Uh, till Cora and Carmen came out. That's when I really paid attention to it. Yeah, I used to watch them, but. I like Nick and King. When we blow up, what are we planning on moving? Uh, Houston. Houston, yes. I really want to move. I really want to move to Houston, Texas. Why? Because everything is bigger in Houston. Period. Yeah. The malls, the houses, the the, the population, everything. We 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 gone. Yeah. Um. What are what are our dream cars? Um. I want my dream car is most definitely a Lamborghini for me. My dream car is a my dream car is a Doom buggy. <laughs> then what your head look like anyway? Oh, my dream car is a Jeep, a dark. Not gonna say dark gray. I say like a like a I, yeah, a dark gray Jeep. That's my dream car, or a push start. Man, push start, man. That's just, that's cold. That's tough. That's yeah. just crazy, man. Because I lose everything. So a push start will be very convenient for me so I won't have to keep up with a car key. That'll be very, 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 very awesome for me. Where are we from? I was born in Montgomery, but I was raised in Lyons County. As y'all, some people like to call it the four or five or the bricks. Yeah, I was raised down there. I wasn't raised up here. I was just born up here. I was born and raised in my grandma, Alabama, all my life, man. Straight out of a, a small project. Where you from, Brand? From Tulane Coat. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, when you guys blow up, what YouTube couple would y'all want to collab with? Nick and King all day, every day for yeah. me. If I start re if I start looking at two other YouTube couples, then maybe I want to collab with them. But my girl Nick, you know. I gotta, I gotta collab with them. I gotta collab with King, like most to, definitely, because I love her. I don't care what people. I give credit where credit is due. When she is a banging ass female, a, a banging mom, a banging entrepreneur, young entrepreneur, we got to throw that out there because some of these older people be playing this young, young female people, like we man. just not it. And she's a mom and she's really doing it. So yeah, like if we blow up, that's who I want to collab with. Yeah. Cause I just I love watching them. I love the energy. I love I just love everything about them. You know. The thing that cracks me up about them is when they pranking each other. Most definitely King though, cause King just be he take it there. Like you you mess with him, like it's just it's it's up and it's stuck. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Like um, anything else? I don't know. I don't know what pe what people would want to know. If you feel like you want to know anything else about me, Team Tasha, you can comment below after you watch, like, 
subscribe and click that bell so y'all can get notified when we drop videos y'all can see it as soon as they hit youtube you got to click that bell period that's just it yeah excuse me but yeah so if like if y'all want to know anything about either one of us comment team tasha team bjt below and whatever you want to know about us just you know just comment it on the side and y'all know that's pretty much it so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and and on this video